Okay, I got my last song. Good morning. May I have your attention, please? Good morning. Before we officially start today's ceremony, I wanted to informally welcome you to Colonel Gibbons High School's commencement exercises. My name is Mike Rogosich, and as the Dean of Culture, I have the privilege of being the MC, of having the best seat in the house, and the privilege of working with your sons and daughters. As a graduate of the school from the class of 1990, I'm proud of our school's 114 year tradition. Welcome to what we hope will be a wonderful day for you, for your family, and for your friends. On behalf of all of our educators, we are happy to be here and celebrate this moment with you. We're grateful to the hospitality from NC State University for hosting us in the recently refurbished Reynolds Coliseum. We would ask that you be accommodating to late arriving guests by not leaving seats open between groups and by welcoming them into today's ceremony. Before we start, please silence all cell phones. A professional photographer has been hired to take a picture of each of the graduates, and therefore we ask that you remain seated during the ceremony today. One of the most wonderful things about our community is how we care for one another. I'm confident that you are going to see that care and that love during today's ceremony. Thus, we would remind you to hold your applause till the end of the ceremony. People who yell out during the diploma movement take away from the families who are sitting beside them, behind them, or in front of them, because it's their ceremony for their child as well. Finally, thank you to the educators, not just for the last four years, but for helping in today's ceremony. Thank you for the band and the chorus, for the wonderful music today. And most importantly, thank you to the parents and to the families in sharing in the mission of Cardinal Gibbons High School. We will be officially starting in just a few minutes. Before we begin, the Cardinal Gibbons Wind Ensemble will play Festive Proclamation by William Owens. Thank you.
Please be seated. Good morning. In this, the 114th anniversary of Cardinal Gibbons High School, it is my honor to welcome you to the commencement exercises of the graduating class of 2023. At this time, I would like to introduce Father Luke Rewicki, our school's chaplain, who will pray the invocation. Following the invocation, please remain standing as the Cardinal Gibbons High School Chorus sings America the Beautiful found in your program. Father Luke, please stand. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of these graduates and of all your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit our gra graduates and all of us may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. It is our honor to welcome this morning members of our board of directors, Mrs. Joyce Bass, Mrs. Annette Jay, Mr. Hank Maddox, Mr. Tyler Zimmerman, class of 2012, and the president of our board of directors, Mr. Tim Thronson. We also welcome Ms. Leisha Reese, Superintendent of Schools for the Diocese of Raleigh, who will participate in our ceremony today. Welcome to all of you. <laughs> Cardinal Gibbons High School is most fortunate to have had the privilege of educating this year's salutatorian. We pray that he continues his thirst for knowledge and wisdom as he attends the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill in the fall. It is with great pleasure that I now introduce Emil Jabberzak. Good morning, esteemed faculty, proud parents, honored guests, and most importantly, the incredible graduating class of 2023. My name is Emil Jabberzak, and it is my privilege to stand before all of you today to give my speech as a salutatorian of Cardinal Gibbons High School. First and foremost, I would like to express my gratitude to all our teachers, 
staff, and administrators that have managed to guide us on the remarkable journey that is high school. Your dedication to our growth and education has made a lasting impact on each one of us. We are forever thankful for the, all that you have done and for all the knowledge and wisdom that you have passed on to us. When I moved from Switzerland in 2015, I embarked on a completely new chapter of life in middle school. I could hardly speak any English, and with my best attempts, could only pronounce phrases with a hard accent. But what I found in the States is a community that embraced me and accepted my cultural differences. Similarly, when I embarked on a new journey as a freshman at Gibbons, I found a community that, embra that embraced all of us as individuals and celebrated our diverse backgrounds. From the very first day, I got to experience the hectic ceremony that is Freshman Welcome Day, which helped us transition into a new way of life as given students. However, our freshman year was cut short by the unprecedented, unprecedented challenge that was the COVID-19 pandemic. Nothing was more fun than waking up five minutes, five minutes before class starts, rolling out of bed in PJs, logging onto Zoom, and on rare occasions, showing our faces on our cameras. <laughs> Despite the difficulties and uncertainties that the pandemic brought, we persevered and adapted to all the adversity that we have faced for a large portion of our high school careers. But beyond our resilience in the face of adversity, what sets our class apart from others is our sense of community and diversity. We all come from different walks of life, representing traditions, experiences, and cultures that all make us unique as individuals. Yet we all have united as a class under one purpose, to pursue knowledge and to create a better future for ourselves and the world around us. One transformational experience during my time at Gibbons was the Kairos retreat. As I embarked on the retreat, I felt nervous, yet I remember I yet I remember being greeted with an environment that fostered understanding, empathy, and acceptance. During the retreat, I and many others all found ourselves in a space where personal stories were shared without judgment and vulnerability was embraced. It reminded us that we are not alone when facing challenges in life, and sometimes the most significant support came from those who have experienced similar hardships. We discovered the power and beauty of vulnerability that helped us form strong unity. No matter what path each of us chooses, whether it be college, vocational school, or the workforce, let us remember the memories and carry the lessons that we have learned from our time at Cardinal Gibbons High School. Our bumpy experiences in school have not only prepared us for the challenges of higher education and the workforce, but also for the task of building a more compassionate and inclusive society. The class of 2023, let us be courageous in the face of uncertainty, embrace the opportunities that await us, and let us dream audaciously. For it is in the pursuit of those dreams that we can find one, our purpose in life and make a lasting impact. So fellow graduates, let's celebrate this significant milestone in our lives with gratitude, joy, and a profound sense of accomplishment for all that we have done. As we bid farewell to each other, never forget the memories, lessons, and friendships formed during our high school journey. Use them as guiding lights in the years to come. It has been an honor for me to share this journey with all of you, and I have no doubt that each of you will achieve great things. Thank you. Thank you for your words, Mill. The Carlin Gibbons High School community is blessed to have a head of school who's deeply committed to Roman Catholic education. In the three years he has served as our head of school, he has led all of our community, students, educators, and families, in becoming men and women of faith, service, and leadership. It is my privilege to introduce our head of school, Mr. Jeff Bell.
Welcome to the 114th graduation in Cardinal Gibbons' storied history. It is an historic and important day for you, graduates. Bishop Zarama asks that I remind you how proud he is of the class of 2023, what a blessing each of you is to the Diocese of Raleigh, and what wonderful representatives you are of the Cardinal Gibbons community. Class of 2023, I'd like for you to look to your left and to your right. Let your eyes scan who is in front of you and who is behind you. Let your hearts and your brains take it all in. Take a mental snapshot of the people who surround you. Focus. This is likely the last time you will all ever be gathered together as a full class. And that's a good thing. You have places to go. Next, class of 2023, please stand up. Turn around and face the educators who are behind you and who have always been behind you. For their tireless work and unparalleled dedication and for all they've done to provide, please give them a round of applause. Please have a seat. High school is a time of transformation. You can't help it. It's simple biology. If you look back at pictures from your freshman year, you will likely find someone who looks very different from how you look today. You are probably taller and more confident. Most of you have lost the braces that are the signature of many middle schoolers. You've gotten stronger and slightly less awkward. You may have some of the same friends, but you certainly have new ones as well. While these changes are not overly remarkable, they happen to most any high schooler. They are unique and special to you, and therefore important and meaningful. However, your class, the class of 2023, endured the entirety of the pandemic during your high school years. The only year that wasn't significantly impacted was this past one. I don't want to linger on this reality, but I do want to acknowledge it. Largely because by the very fact that you're sitting here, after everything that happened from 2020 to 2022, marks you as an incredibly brave and persistent group of students. In all likelihood, one of the bravest classes in our school's long history. Something you may not know about Cardinal Gibbons, we closed during the 1971-72 school year. There was a change in the religious orders as the Dominican sisters were called to a new ministry, and the school couldn't find another order to take over the school in time. We reopened in the fall of 1972 under the direction of the Sisters of Notre Dame. Almost the entire class didn't return for their senior year except for 10 brave students. In effect, they had to restart the school, its culture, its communities, its activities, its faith life, everything. Sound familiar? 50 years ago, the class of 1973 brought Cardinal Gibbons through a very difficult time and renewed and restored the school. 50 years later, the class of 2023 brought Cardinal Gibbons through a very difficult time and renewed and restored the school. The circumstances are different. There are a lot more of you, but the accomplishment is very much the same. You both brought us back to life. In the midst of the resurrection, of course, you each had your own journeys. As I mentioned earlier, you went through many shifts and changes and experienced what I hope were a memorable four years that, while impacted by the pandemic, were not defined by it. And through it all, I pray that you saw the hand of God at work during your time at Gibbons. In his letter to the Romans, St. Paul writes, 
Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. These verses are especially pertinent to you, class of 2023. In the midst of bringing Cardinal Givens back to life, you yourselves were also being transformed intellectually, spiritually, and socially. We hope that some of the lessons that you learned at Givens played a role in your transformations. However, I want to focus on Paul's first sentence, which implores us not to conform to the pattern of this world. In our current moment, when there's much division and strife, when social media is sending contradictory messages to you, when it is tempting just to stick to what you know, Paul's words, which tell us, the, which tell us to be suspicious of the pattern of this world, ring true. He tells us to look beyond the familiar and the conventional, to use our own reason and our own minds to uncover God's good and perfect will. He tells us to ask the question, how is God working in our lives and in the world, even if it isn't obvious and evident? This can be hard to do. However, you've clearly had good practice. It was hard to find his will when the world shut down, when the familiar became unfamiliar, when you were asked to rebuild our culture and our community. And you've proven you can do it. As you look ahead, this is your task. This is how you live out a good and meaningful life, to look beyond the patterns and the status quo, to be change agents for the good of others, to conform to God's will, not the patterns of the world. It won't be easy. It will at times be discouraging, but it is what you should and must do, both for God and for you. In closing, I'd like to offer my heartfelt thanks to you, class of 2023, for bringing Cardinal Givens back to life, for being the stewards of our mission, for reminding all of us educators about the importance and the power of our vocation, and that, with God, all things are possible. Thank you. Father Luke will now bless the diplomas. Almighty God, we ask you for your blessing upon these diplomas which represent the accomplishments of our graduates. As they go forth from this school, may they be remembered, the, may they remember the blessings of faith they have learned from these years and offer witness to the truth, beliefs, and morals we embrace. And may Almighty God bless these diplomas in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now they will be blessed with holy water. At this time, I would ask the class of 2023 to come forward to receive their diplomas from Mr. Bell. Assisting him will be Mrs. Jeanette Hadsell, Director of College Counseling. Again, we ask that you hold all your applause until all the graduates' names have been called. Thank you for caring for the family in front of you, beside you, and behind you by not yelling out as it disturbs their moment for their child. Nicholas Burke Adams. 
Parker Burnett Agnaludo. Sydney Marie Aiken. Nicole Carol Allen. Mason Michael Allison. Alyssa Brooke Anderson. Asher Francis Anderson. Logan Benjamin Andrews. Ava Marie Estilla. Delaney Grace Atwood. Matthew Thomas Bain. Ashton Corinne Barnhill. Louisa Kathleen Barrett. Maria Emilita Bassett. Colin Joseph Bates. Peyton Olivia Baxter. Ellison Van Belk. Hayes Your Belk. Anton Lars Berg. Laura Brewer Best. Joseph Michael Biersack. Parker Rose Bolduck. Reese Saya Booger. Nathaniel Ernest Booth. Tessa Ann Beretti. Colin James Bourne. Elizabeth Langley Bowman. Eleanor Stillwell Boyette. Taylor Patrick Brown. Wyatt Keating Brown. Raina Noel Bryson. Adeline Grace Burge. Joseph Raphael Burke. Maxwell Joseph Burkhart. Sean Christopher Burnett. Rachel Margaret Byerly. Audrey Catherine Carlin. Charles William Carmouche. Nicholas Anthony Carpico. Michaela Joanne Carter. Nicholas James Carter. Carly Elena Casas. Rachel Elizabeth Caesar. Brock Chandler Chapel. Mina Elizabeth Choi. Connor Michael Clark. William Anthony Clark. 
Jackson Stas Cockburn, Sean Ross Conley, Grant Joseph Cromwell, Austin Allen Crow, Kyla Amelia Crumpler, Christopher Michael Davis, Harrison Joseph Day, John Thomas Dean, Xavier Nasir DeBerry, Matthew Lawrence Dagley, John Charles Derenbacher, Michael Anthony DeFiore Jr., Owen Francis Diamond, Caesar Edwin Diaz, Kathleen Delia DeGradis, Michael Robert Dottillo, Remington Faith Doggett, Brendan Paul Dolan, Ethan James Dominic, Kate Elizabeth Donahue, Christopher Bennett Dory, Ann Lee Dockerty. Colin Bennett Doyle, Donovan Spencer Dozier, Alexander Jose Duarte, Macy Lane Duda, Henry Pierce Duda. Liam McGregor Dwyer, Lauren Emily Dyson, Aaron Christopher Edwards, Mark Eni Gerard Eckham. Emma Suzanne Elliott, Owen Christopher Eney, Charles Henry Ingeman, Alexandra Torstone Ercolino, Oliver Reed Evans. Ugana Anthony Chakuda Ezuma. Alexander James Bryant Finney. Emma Margaret Farishan. Allison May Fontaine. Lillian Noel Fortunato. Miriam Armani Franks.
Thomas Andrew Ferdoso. Veronica Grace Gabello. Jonathan Giles Gesa. Karen James Gertner. Andrea Kaylee Galilea. Gabriella Maria Gallucci. Lane Robert Gannon. John Michael Gebhardt. Madison Delaney Jean Grosso. Eric Julian Glass. Ethan Thomas Gooden. Riley K. Goodwin. Allison Elizabeth Goulding. Joseph John Vincent Graffinger. Brady Austin Greco. Charles Patrick Green. Avery Caroline Greener. Lillian Marie Guillermo. Hunter Jacob Gundry. Matthew Jacob Gorecki. Allie Christine Haas. William Roy Hambrick. Sydney Morgan Hamilton. John Patrick Hannon III. Gabrielle Rose Hart. Tatum Gray Hatley. Madeline Ray Hefner. Brendan William Heil. Jose De, he De Jesus Fausto Hernandez. Jessica Brielle Hirschberger. Connor Lewis Higginbotham. Thomas James Higgins. Jocelyn Renee Hilton. Aaron Neve Hinchy. Sawyer David Henson. Stephen George Hoffman III. Mora Rose Holbrooks. Audrey Marie Holleran. Matthew Benjamin Horde. Ryan Walker Huffman. Finley Harper Hughes.
Jacqueline Alexandra Hunter. Ryan Austin Hunter. Rose Haley Hurst. Gretchen Siegler Hutton. Caitlin Maria Iannacci. Braden Edwards Iovino. Stephen Reza Ismali Jr. Sophia Odette Genet. William Spencer Jasky. Emil Adrian Alexander Jabberzak. John Skelton Jenkins, Jr. Stephen Thomas Jennings. Ashley Isabella Johnson. Pierce Robert Johnston. Emily Elizabeth Jones. Jacqueline Rose Jordan. Talise Janae Joseph. Haley Brooke Juhas. Emma Elizabeth Caymans. Alana Grace Kasberg. Gavin Quinn Cast. Tessa Marie Keller. Grace Marie Kelly. Carly Spencer Kemp. Alexander Basil Kalani. Charles Joseph Kalani. Sophia Channing Kim. Charles John Klausner. Matthew William Koenig. Lily Sophia Zanab Kokomo. Andrew Richard Colebush. Elijah Ross Convalinka. Andrew Joseph Cranepool. Luciana Andrea Kraus. Thomas Daniel Cuppenin, Jr. Jonah Bradley Lajeunesse. James Finnegan Lolly. Preston Hamby Lamb. Juliet Grace Larkin. Abigail Grace Larson.
Heather Michelle Lauchenko. Aiden William Lauder. Brendan Joseph Lauder. Landon Cade Lawrence. Ryan Christine Lawrence. Tomas Manuel Lazarczyk. Matthew Thomas Leary. Grayson Lemire Lee Minor. Nina Avila Lemoyne. Nicholas Allen Lemon. Lillian May Lenard. Carlos Eduardo Leon Terran. Sumira Michelle Libus. Luke Edward Lillis. Carlos Julian Lomena. Adam Joseph Lopiano. Michael James Lorenzi. Kale Barton Losak. Catherine Olivia Lucas. Kira Shea Lumley. Harrison Austin Lynch. Cameron Alexander McDonald. Thomas Robert Mackin. Carter David Malone. Sawyer Warner Manuel. Sophia Claire Maripodi. Victoria Andrea Marciniak. Nicole Andrea Martindale. Natalie Rose Martin. Olivia Grace Martinez. Jessica Daria Martino Stansbury. Samuel Walker Mashburn. Harper Glenn Mason. Connor James McAdams. Kaylin Ann McDonald. Riley Kane McGarry. Emma Grace McElvery. Neve Carol McGowan. Bradley Joseph McHugh.
Caitlin Elizabeth McKenna. Andrew James Medbury. Sophia Renee Mihawk. Rebecca Noel Messick. Grace Barbara Meyer. William Michael Myers. Caroline Labouche Miklos. Joseph Andrew Malazzo. Lily Elizabeth Milberg. Macy Grace Minardi. Benjamin James Miranda. Carrigan Elizabeth Moesta. Daniel Stephen Monty. William Thomas Moore. Morel Mua. Lisbeth Morales Carbajal. <laughs> Melissa Morales Souza. Emily Elizabeth Moran. John Xavier Maranta. Stephen Dexter Morgan. Courtney Grace Morrison. Grace Loretta Malahi. Catherine Elizabeth Mully. Mateo Andre Martino. James Robert Myers. Max Gerald Neff. Savoy William New. Chidera Mary Angelica Nguada. Kayla LaShawn Nixon. Yvette Mina Obediente. Isabella Marie O'Connell. Abigail Grace O'Donnell. Liam Michael O'Driscoll. Daniel Joaquin Odulio. Ekene Divine Ogabu. Iomide Tosin Olagade. David Adam Oldham. Isabella Rose Olivia. Hanif Elijah Omar.
John Trevor O'Neill. Megan McAfee Opegard. Caitlin Stillwell Austin. Merritt Ernst Overholzer. Ava May Palmgren. Ethan John Palmer. Claire Felina Ponganiban. Jackson Shannon Hanko. Krisha Prashant Patel. Brian Thomas Pincola. Macy Ann Panisi. Brooke Suzanne Perry. Carly Lillian Peterson. Stephen Min Pham. Athanasios Raymond Pilos. Hartley Ann Powell. Anna Elizabeth Pratt. Lauren Marie Prince. Honora Sophia Quinn. Isabella Marie Ramoyne. Catherine Marie Ranieri. Blake Nicholas Raphael. William Connor Raska. Julia Carol Reckenwald. Meredith Scott Reeg. Stephen Waldrop Reville Jr. Alexandra Elise Rhodes. Samuel Dominic Richardson. Charles Philip Riedel. Richard Thomas Robbins. Keely Tegan Robinson. Armando Antonio Rodriguez. Jacob Luis Rodriguez. Molly Elizabeth Rakita. Gabriella Rossi. Thomas Walter Ruffell. Jacob Burton Rubenstein. Elena Lee Rutherford. Isabella Catherine Sales. Aiden Reese Salade. Nicholas Donald Sampson. Ishan Singh Sandhar. Sophia Rose Schuler. Allison Jane Schuler. Mary Caitlin Self. Ian 
Satya. Christian Thompson Schaefer. Ryan Gregory Shorten. Shelby Marie Sugars. Isabel Anna Caroline Skogger. Rory Jacob Scow. James Gilbert Smedley IV. Ava Ryan Smith. Brandon Charles Smith. Amelia Grace Smith. Isabella Tecla Marziano Smythe. Annalise Victoria Stodeberg. Ian Michael Songer. Layla Gabrielle Sotomayor. Molly Rose Spangler. Hayden Andrew Stanley. Olivia Grace Staub. Elizabeth Ashley Steinlogge. Benjamin Cole Stevens. <laughs> William Richard Stevens III. Errol Tremaine Stewart. Grant Xavier Stewart. Joshua Perry Stone King. Alexander Xavier Strawn. Ada Rose Stewing. Kate Elizabeth Sullivan. Christina Sophia Siblakova. Aiden William Tate. Anna Christine Taylor. Bradley Reed Thompson. Zachary Granger Thompson. Lindsay Ruth Thornburg. Elena Secantino Torrey. Tiernan Leslie Torty. Joshua Allen Touch. Joseph Virgil Tupin. Dixon Price Tracy. Tyler David Tracy. Jennifer Lynn Tran. Carson Agner Treadway. Caitlin Grace Truckenmiller. 
Jamil Mackay Tucker. Aiden John Turner. Thomas Andrew Turner, Jr. Charles Andrew Underwood. Frederick Ian Usher. Nicholas Matthew Vargas. Kevin Eduardo Velasquez. Gabriella Rose Verdicchio. Alejandro Jesus Vilchis Orozco. John Thomas Vincitorio. Lacey Ireland Vore. <laughs> Caleb Riley Wagner. Ian James Wallace. Joseph Meyer Walsh. Katie Jane Weimer. Ansley Marie Wilden. Robert Lucas Whitehurst. William Ezra Wilkins, Jr. Adam Curran Wilkinson. Alexander Shaw Williams. Samantha Rose Wolf. Nicholas Ignacio York. Anna Catherine Young. Olivia Louise Young. Stephanie Marie Young. Luke Michael Zakia Fahey. William Thomas Zarnick. Leo Bradley Zucchini. Caroline Marie Zedek. Bryn Michaela Zibitz. Congratulations, class.
I would like to take a moment to express our gratitude. I was inspired by Andrea's million thank yous reflection last evening. For almost three decades, Mrs. Joan Troy has blessed our school with her gift of teaching math. What you may not know is that she's also been an instrumental part of our music program, playing the piano at all of our school masses and accompanying on the piano at graduation and junior mass. Joan is retiring this year, and this is her last graduation, where she accompanies the reading of the graduates' names. On behalf of all the educators, students, families, and alumni of Cardinal Gibbons High School, thank you, Joan. A million thank yous. I'd now like to ask our superintendent of Catholic schools, Ms. Leisha Reese, to come forward to, our, to assist our graduates with tassel movement. Graduates, please stand. On behalf of Bishop Luis Zarama and as Superintendent of Schools for the Roman Catholic Diocese of Raleigh, I now pronounce you graduates of Cardinal Gibbons High School. Please move your tassels from right to left, signifying graduation. Congratulations. <laughs> Several students have worked diligently to maintain high academic, personal, and spiritual standards. At this time, the Bishop F. Joseph Gossman Awards will be presented to those students who have the highest overall academic average throughout the four years in a particular subject area, and who have shown tremendous interest and appreciation for each discipline. Bishop Gossman, the fourth bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Raleigh, supported Catholic education that saw tremendous growth in all of the schools of the diocese. It was under his leadership that we were able to relocate our school to its current Edward Mills Road location. His pastoral care and guidance, as well as his benevolence to us, will always be remembered. The Bishop Gossman Awards will be presented by Mr. Bell. The Computer Science Award is presented to Owen Diamond. The Engineering Award is presented to Rachel Caesar. English award is given to Kate Sullivan.
Receiving the Social Studies Award is Lillian Leonard. The Drama Award is presented to Thomas Robbins. Receiving the Dance Award is Talise Joseph. The Music Award is given to Kate Sullivan and John Jenkins. Award is presented to Luciana Kraus. The Science Award is presented to Ben Miranda. Award is given to Nicholas York. The French Award is presented to Trevor O'Neill. Receiving the Latin Award is Caitlin McKenna. Receiving the Theology Award is Ethan Dominic.
Hold on, Ethan. The math award is presented to Ethan Dominic. <laughs> In addition to the awards for academic excellence, we also present at graduation three awards that are rooted in the core values of our Cardinal Gibbons mission statement, faith, service, and leadership. The Bishop Michael F. Burbage Award honors a student who has demonstrated outstanding love, service, and devotion to the students and the educators of Cardinal Gibbons High School. Bishop Burbage, the fifth bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Raleigh, was a visible sign of God's love in his 10 years as shepherd of our diocese. As he continues to answer God's call and the Holy Father's call as the bishop in the Arlington Diocese, we remain grateful for his continued support and prayers for our school community. We are delighted to present the Bishop Burbage Award to a student who consistently inspires us all, both on and off the court, in and out of the classroom, by answering Christ's call to Christian leadership. This year's Bishop Michael F. Burbage Award is presented to Ava Estella. Since 1975, the Bishop Waters Memorial Award has been presented to a student who has shown outstanding witness to the Catholic faith by living out each day the Christian call to holiness. The Most Reverend Vincent S. Waters, Bishop of Raleigh for 30 years, led the church during a period of growth where he was a champion for Catholic education. In 1953, Bishop Waters courageously decreed that segregation in all the Roman Catholic institutions of the Diocese of Raleigh should cease. And as a result, Cardinal Gibbons High School became the first integrated high school in the state of North Carolina. A devoted friend to Cardinal Gibbons High School, we remember Bishop Waters for his fatherly love and his dedication at each graduation. This year, for just the second time, the Bishop Waters Memorial Award is being presented to two students. And they're being recognized for living out their faith and embracing the Christian call to holiness in extraordinary ways. This year's award is being presented to Xavier DeBerry and Maria Bassett. The Jim Boyle Award honors a student known for living out the Catholic faith, a strong commitment to Catholic morals, and embracing the transformative effect of Catholic education. Mr. Jim Boyle served as a board chair at Cardinal Gibbons during a key period in our school's history. He was instrumental 
in helping our school find its current location and in bringing the Franciscan Brothers of Brooklyn to Cardinal Gibbons High School. Jim Boyle was a great man of faith whose service to the educational mission of the Catholic Church and our Cardinal Gibbons community lives on in this award. A witness to our Catholic faith on the field, in the classroom, as a retreat leader, and in his selfless service to others, this year's recipient of the Jim Boyle Award is William Zarnick. Our 2023 valedictorian will attend Duke University in the fall. May God continue to bless him in all of his endeavors. With deep respect, I introduce this year's valedictorian, Ethan Dominic. Good morning, everyone. As many of you know, my name is Ethan Dominic, and I'm honored to be standing here today as the valedictorian of Cardinal Gibbons' class of 2023. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to begin by thanking God and all the angels and saints in heaven for spiritually providing for me throughout my high school years. You have always been guiding me at the spiritual level behind the scenes, regardless of whether I've recognized it or not. Next, I would like to thank my mom, my dad, and my younger brother for all the love, guidance, and support that they provided for me over the years, for all the sacrifices they've made in terms of time and their careers, as well as for pushing me to be the person that I am today. Thank you, family. I would not be anywhere close to who I am in terms of success and character today without you. <laughs> Next, I would like to thank all of the Cardinal Gibbons faculty for academically challenging me and assisting me with pursuing my co-curricular endeavors. And finally, I would like to thank everyone in the Cardinal Gibbons student body, especially those in the class of 2023, for broadening my perspective in life, which has served as great inspiration for today's address. Thank you, class of 2023. So, overall, high school was not such an easy experience for me. After all, I pushed myself to take and ace the toughest classes that Cardinal Gibbons had to offer in order to maximize my potential and become the successful person that I knew I could be. If I may, I will say that I did not have much time outside of school to relax or do whatever I wanted to do outside of my activities at school. However, along the way, I had a realization toward the, toward the latter end of high school, and it is one that Cardinal Gibbons helped me have through its benevolent community and through its vast opportunities, especially through my opportunity to found and lead a club that uses artificial intelligence to better society, and events where its spiritual life team recruited me to be more involved in bringing students, fellow students, closer to God. Thank you, everyone. And that realization, everyone, was that 
we should not just be so focused on ourselves and our own accomplishments, because there's simply more to life than just that. Let me ask you all a question. Have you ever felt at any point in your life that your life is hopeless, helpless, or even meaningless? <laughs> okay. <laughs> have you ever wondered why, no matter what you've done, your life has never been as happy or as fulfilled as you've wanted it to be? <laughs> well, that reason is something that we all neglect to consider. And it is the fact that we are meant to look outside of ourselves, our own problems, and our own little worlds, because God wants us to serve one another. I'm going to ask you another question. <laughs> have you ever wondered why we have different skills and different backgrounds? <laughs> have you ever wondered why you've undergone the tragedies in your life that you have, regardless of how big or small they have been? <laughs> well, it is certainly not because faith or the universe, so to speak, is either working for you or against you, and it's certainly not because you're all destined to live down in the dumps while others bask in the delights and paradise of society. It is because God has called all of us and he's given us all, all parts to play in bettering this planet. So I say to you, everyone, that the time has come. <laughs> for us to look beyond ourselves and our own problems and for us to use our talents and our resources to not only upbuild God's kingdom, but also to better our society. <laughs> and everyone, that is why I stand before you all today to call all of us to make the world a better place by embracing who we are, looking outside of ourselves, and by using our talents to achieve this endeavor. I would like to thank you all for your dedicated attention and consideration throughout the duration of this valedictorian address. And I hope... <laughs> and I hope that as a result of this address, we can all better understand the importance of our lives. Thank you. Ethan, and your energy. We do have word from educators who are posted outside that the weather is okay for a cap toss outside. So, following the procession of our graduates outside of Reynolds Coliseum for the traditional cap toss, you are all invited to a reception in the main lobby. Please remain in your seats until all the graduates have processed out of the building. Please stand now for the benediction, Father Luke. So I ask all of us here to prepare our hearts for this blessing. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, from whom every good gift comes, send down your Holy Spirit on our graduates at this moment and all the days of their lives. May the class of 2023 give generously of their time and talent, that they may freely serve those around them, and so with your grace, bring your light to the world. 
We pray this day that you will bless and watch over our graduates and keep them safe in your care. And may Almighty God bless each of you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.